Hello everybody and welcome to No Man's Sky. This is Elon Paul and we are doing the Anomaly video for the weekend of July 12th through 14th. Wow, there's so much to talk about for this weekend. Wow, uh, where to begin? Um, so we're coming to the end, when you watch this video, to the end of the Adrift Expedition, which should last uh, through Saturday, through Sunday, and probably into part of Monday here in the United States. Um, it should end sometime early Monday morning in the U.S. So, okay, let's, there's an elephant in the room, ladies and gentlemen. It is on the Twitterverse. Sean Murray dropped an emoji at just about midnight on July 13th. Um, maybe it was an hour earlier, I don't know, 11 p.m., uh, possibly on July 12th. And the emoji was a planet. What could that entail? Hmm. Yes. Could we be looking at some grand, incredible upgrade for No Man's Sky? Or is he referring to Light No Fire? Hmm. Again, we don't know. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, should we go ahead and take that... Or that, that. Jeez, I've got so many ships these days, I don't even know what to do with half the time. I think... Yeah. I think we ought to take the Iron Vulture. What do you say? I think that's what we're going to do today. Let's, get, let's use our Iron Vulture. So, of course, since it's not showing in our inventory in here, we're going to have to pull it in. Go. And there's our ship. The Iron Vulture. Uh, as I call it, my stealth gunship. Alright, so we're going to head out and head over to the Anomaly today. Excellent. Alright, so as we're on our way, let's discuss what is coming. So, could it be something for No Man's Sky? Could it be for Light No Fire? I think a lot of us are hoping it's Light No Fire. Um... In the past, I've talked about speculations. I've talked about whether I'm going to speculate on certain things or not. And I think this is one of those times when I'm going to have to step back just a little bit and say, hey, go into the comments section and you tell me what you think this might be. Because frankly, um, Sean tends to do a lot of... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Non-conventional things. Every time you say to yourself, hey, this makes sense, John does something different. So, I don't think it has anything to do with what we think it has anything to do. It could be light no fire. So, I think the next thing to do would be to research into the Twitterverse, see if anything's happening on the light no fire side of things. And that's the way we should go. In the meantime, our anomaly mission today is unearthing ancient bones. 1800 Quicksilver, 11 ion batteries, pretty standard. Everybody will get something usually different as far as the secondary item is concerned, so keeping that in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and select it, initialize, and start. Yes, because by the time I get it done, hopefully I'm the only one in here, and no one just benefits from me doing it all by myself. <laughs> While they sit in the anomaly and wait for the mission to complete. Alright, so off we go. Back to our ship and out into the universe. And it should take us into hyperspace. As you can see, my multiplayer is on. I want to also put a little shout out to Delta. Uh, last night he had a, um, as Friday night at around 8 p.m. Eastern Time, he, uh, he and a couple others started up a community um, outing, if you will, and just everybody hanging out and chatting and stuff like that. It was actually quite a lot of, a lot of fun. And apparently those individuals already knew about the uh, Twitter drop uh, before I did. So when I got in there and said, hey, wait a second, I just saw that there was a Twitter drop. And they're like, yeah, um, where have you been? Type thing. So, yeah, that was funny. So here we go. Okay, so we're heading towards this dusty planet. Now, with getting bones, usually I don't think it has anything whatsoever to do with where you land on the planet. So we're just we're going to head over there for now. But it should disappear as we enter the atmosphere. 
for example. There it goes. Yeah, nothing to do with it. All right. What is that? Looks like we have ourselves a landing pad that we can utilize. I'll go ahead and select it and we'll come in. Very nice. Interesting planet. So it's bone rich. It doesn't look like the sentinels are aggressive at all, though we may still have a sentinel battle towards the end. Um, let's take a look around. Too weak, it says. Too weak. So we don't have any bones anywhere near us. So landing here was a waste of time. <laughs> That's okay. Hopefully we can find some bones elsewhere. Let's just head over here a little ways. And I'm going to land again. Yeah, this looks good. Oh, we got plenty. Okay, so there's one right there at 775 one behind me at 138, literally right behind me. Let's go ahead and grab that. So, terrain manipulator. It looks like this is a cold. It's cold at night anyway. That's at least a starting point. And I just got attacked by some hazardous plants. Uh, looks like, wow, okay, this was a good little site to land at. At least five bones here. Clear it out just a little bit. And why don't we do this? Do into this setting, and we'll just flatten the area. And that way we get everything we can. Alright, good deal. Now, my inventory is ridiculous right now, because that community thing was incredible. Mr. Uh, oh, who was it that I was with? Uh, they kept give, giving me all kinds of stuff, including this wonderful thing called happiness. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? I got some happiness for you folks. Isn't that great? So yeah, yeah, that's a thing too. Anyway, um, <laughs> it was absolutely hilarious being there with these folks last night. Um, angelic fruitcake, isn't that something, huh? hundred of those? Yeah, maybe I'll have to hand that out at some time. I'm going to hang on to that. Uh, they kept handing out parts to ships. It was absolutely phenomenally fun. All right, so we need 12 of these things. I don't think I need any more hypnotic eyes. I'm going to get rid of some of these bones that we've already got in here. Go, and that way we consolidate a bunch of stuff. There, we go. plenty of room now, right? Okay, let's go ahead and pick up our bones. These things are the small ones, as you can see. These are not worth a lot. That's a piece of rock. Okay, and another cheap bone. Cheap bone. A little closer. Cheap bone. Okay, looks like we cleared out all the bones from this area, so we got five of them right in one shot. That's really cool. So the next set was out that way, and we'll go ahead and select it. I'm going to take my ship there. You could walk it or run it if you will. It's up to you. Ooh, they got butterflies on this planet too. Isn't that interesting? All right, we'll come in for a landing. Looks like there's at least two bones there. There we go. It's a cool looking ship, isn't it? I really do like these ships. They're really nice. Ah. Okay, at least three. Three, it looks like. Three. Yep, okay, three it is. Gotta switch back to the regular mode. Yes. Alright. Cheap one. And looks like three more cheap ones. Four. Four more. Two, three, and four. Alright. We made a good hit, a good start at this. Nine to twelve. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, any more? Oh, we do. Right there. Excellent. All right, I don't see any others around. So we just landed in a spot that happened to have three locations. That's fantastic. We only need three more bones, so let's hope for the best. As we come in, it's at least two here. This thing has a really, really, really good hover ability. Best I think I've ever seen, if I'm not mistaken, so... Even my sentinel ship, which hovers really, really good, tends to drift a little bit more. So, yeah, look at those butterflies. You can actually um, befriend those butterflies, and you can get one as a pet if you really wish. Now, it looks like we have at least two, I think. And they're the cheaper bones as well. Any more? Okay, nope. 
So we need one more bone, and we're done. Now it looks like it's daytime again, and it looks like the temperature is stabilized. So I don't think we'll have a problem at this point. So let's go ahead and, I don't know, let's go over here. This looks all right. We'll land right here next to the uh, cacti, fungal. Yep, those guys. Wow, there's a large cropping of those there. Okay. All right. Our closest one, I literally landed right next to it. So we just need one more bone and we're done. And after we're done here, we'll go into other news. After we're all done. We'll check out the Quicksilver vendor because I know this is good stuff. So we do have some cheap ones here. Right? One. And two. And then there's this one. I've already got the... 12, but I'm going to go ahead and grab this one anyway, because it's a rare one, worth a little bit more money. So hang on to them for the time for the time being, and we're going to head back to our ship. All right, so what we need to do is locate Polo's contact, right? So let's just do that, and let's see what happens. Contact located. That way. Okay. Is that over? We didn't get attacked yet, so let's see what happens when we get there. Off we go. Whoops, I think he just bounced off one of those flying creatures. That's hilarious. Alright, how far away? Oh, 30 seconds? Yeah, we got this. Alright, good deal. Good deal. So we'll turn him in, and again, when you're doing the bone missions like this, it tends to sometimes make you attack sentinels so we'll see what happens here all right coming in for a landing let's see what we got there's usually somebody wandering around the site i'm gonna land just a little bit out i don't see anything happening yet so i think we're safe Excellent. We are. Good deal. All right, Scout. The Viking grunts a hello, and then they neither question who sent me nor offer an explanation for why they are out here alone. They do, however, seem to understand the nature of why I brought, why I have brought these. In other words, the bones is what it's saying. So we're going to show samples. Uh, Scout Unzab quietly runs a device across several of the samples, handling the remains with a profound respect. They return the bones and transmit the scan data directly into my suit, ready to deliver to the Nexus. Mission complete. So it looks like we didn't have anything to really worry about here. All right, so let's go ahead and get started then. Let's get... That was a very interesting ship that just fly, flew over. Keep that in mind. Let's go ahead back to our ship and head back up to the anomaly. All right, and we are done with the system. Very simple, very straightforward mission this time around. Doesn't look like there was anything really to worry about too much. Okay, and back to the anomaly. All right, excellent. So that was really nice, really nice. About the simplest mission I've had in a long time. I went ahead and used my um, one of my other main saves in order to get this done, but now I wonder whether I needed to. A little bit of a packed house in here, isn't it? All right, let's head back to the Nexus. And turn in our mission. All right. Complete mission. Done. 1800 Quicksilver has been completed and our ion is are delivered. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So let's head back over here real fast. Check our Quicksilver vendor. Exotic items. And you'll see that we've unlocked the Red Titan Firework and the Golden Titan Firework. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And select that. And it looks like you can buy them up to a thousand times. So yeah, you can get plenty of those if you wish. And the third one it should unlock soon. It's at 12% right now, but I'm sure it's going to go up rather quickly. Because things are coming to an end with the expedition, so. Okay, 
Very good, very good. And you know what, though? As I think my inventory's full. I think it wouldn't let me have anything. No, I've got stuff in there, and it did let me take the Titans. All right, good deal. So, let's go ahead, and I'm going to get rid of some of these bones. I mean, I, yes, I could probably just sell them somewhere, but no reason to have all these clogging up my inventory right now. Okay, good deal. Especially with all the garbage I've got in there as we speak. As you know, the expedition is still going today. Okay, so you got a couple more days to get that done. I've done all kinds of walkthroughs on it. I've done even speedrun walkthroughs if you want to learn how to do that. Uh, currently, I am the speedrun record holder on that at, at one hour and nine minutes. So feel free to watch some of those runs if you want. Now, I'm going to go back over here and we're going to head back to our... Where did I start from? Oh, yes, of course. I started from my, my carrier, my, my freighter. So it should... Bounce me out of this system. There we go. Send me over there. All right. Now, for these kind of missions, what I might start doing in the future is I may start using Sentinel ships because I just like the way they handle a little better. While the gunship is really cool and, uh, you know, awesome looking, I prefer the Sentinel ships. So, what's going on in the future? Well, that was weird. It's almost like we came out of hyperspace to a dead stop. Am I right? Yeah, a dead stop. I've never come out of hyperspace to a dead stop before. That's crazy. All right, and here we are. Here we are. So, as you can see, the anomaly is no longer present here uh, because I pulled it into the other system. I'm going to see if I can't pull it in somewhere close by. I don't think I can. Not with all this stuff that I have around me. Yeah, I'm just going to pull it in so it's in another spot nearby. How about eclipsing the planet behind? There we go. And that way it's there whenever I need it. Okay, great, great. It looks like we've got freighters popping in all over the place. Fantastic. Just what I need. All right, Let's speaking of freighters, let's go ahead and pop into ours. Uh, let me see. It's always in the front. I don't know why they don't have it closer to the back, but hey, that's all right. Not going to worry too much about it. All right. Wow. So what news? Let me see. So the expedition's coming to an end. And on this coming Wednesday, we are probably going to be doing a permadeath no starter ship challenge uh, with a little bit of chatter going on during, during it. And we'll uh, talk a little bit more about what's going on. I have a feeling we're not going to hear too, too much next week. But um, it's just unusual for someone to, for any company to release a game like Light No Fire, for instance in the middle of a week, in the middle of July, for no apparent reason. Um, however, we've been wrong in the past, obviously, very wrong, at many occasions. Um, Sean does what Sean wants to do. So there is no norm when it comes to what he decides he wishes to do. What is going on with that? So again, in your comments section, throw in there. What do you think of the tw of the uh, emoji that Sean tweeted? Tell me what your thoughts are. I'm very curious. On to other things. In regards to No Man's Sky, I've been questioned many times as to what I think the future of No Man's Sky is. Well, what is happening in our near future? Every year around coming up soon is going to be another expedition with another update. Is it a really big update? Is it going to be a smaller update? We all know that Light No Fire is being pushed out soon. Whether it's going to be in the next couple weeks or in six months from now, we don't know. Uh, Sean will do again what Sean does. But No Man's Sky, we were told this was going to be a really big year. We've had a lot of big things happen this year. We do know. Um, the ship sitting next to me is one of those things. The expedition we just got done, one of those things. Orbital. Uh, Omega. All these updates were really good updates. What's going to happen next? I think what we're going to do is we're going to see a big update this time around. I think it's going to be really big. I think it's going to start pulling the drawstrings closed on the storyline in No Man's Sky. I think you're going to see a lot of different storylines coming to their completion. That's my thought on this. It's got to happen soon. And I'm going to be right one way or the other, whether it happens within the next couple months or whether it happens in the next six months. It's going to happen. 
it is what the whole goal is that they're trying to aim for with in, re in regards to No Man's Sky. So that you have one big, long, nice storyline. Will we be going to a realm of glass? Will we be able to go to um, do missions in the void realm? Uh, which is also the same thing. Will uh, Ariadne uh, missions be complete? Um, or at least the mystery behind them be complete? We don't know. Um, it's just up to Sean and the gang over there at Hello Games to figure that out. I have a mind that says that, yes, in, a, in about a next month or so, okay, we're in, we're in mid-July right now, in about another month, maybe a little bit more, we are going to have another expedition. It's going to be a decent-sized improvement to No Man's Sky. Will it complete out the storyline or not? I don't know. I suspect and hope it will, and I expect that the expedition is going to be pretty involved. It will be an expedition. A lot of folks are speculating whether it won't, whether, whether it will or won't. No, it's going to be an expedition, folks. Why? There are at least three expeditions a year. There are at least three out, uh, updates a year. There is always two Twitch drops every year. One in the winter time or towards the end of winter, around January, February. The other one around August. So the next one is going to be Twitch drops. What does that mean for me? That means you will find me over on Twitch. I will be over there and I will be uh, having drops enabled and you guys can join me over there instead and watch me play the expedition over there. We can do a deep dive into it. We'll do speed runs. I will spend most likely a little bit of that time. There's other content creators that will be around on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I will most likely only be present on like Friday and Saturday possibly Monday. We'll see what happens. I don't know how much time I have left I can take off from my secular work, but we're going to see what we can do there. Um, I know I'm spending a lot of time here talking about this, but I think it's necessary if you know what the future holds for all of us here. Um, I intend to also, if Light No Fire comes out, to be showing clips and games and all kinds of experts, ex excerpts of Light No Fire. And um, I'm going to be broadcasting all about that as well. I'm looking forward to the challenge. I'm looking forward to it all. It looks like it's going to be a blast. So that is what I have to tell you all today. That is my, my future in regards to the gaming on this channel is concerned. I don't have any plans to show any other games. I know Palia was one of those games I was showing for just a short time, and I did a few episodes on, but I have decided that I cannot use... I, I don't have the bandwidth in order to be able to spend doing something like that right now. And broadening out. It would require me streaming on more than one night, and I really don't have time for it right now. Maybe one day. Maybe one day we could start doing stuff like that. I don't have that kind of ability. Um, but we'll see. So again, I want to thank all of you out there, the people who have joined this channel, the people who have subscribed to this channel, the people who have followed this channel and are just watching these videos. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for, for being with me for nearly two years now. Um, watching these videos, and I've really, really enjoyed it. Not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. I'm going to keep doing this. I've had a blast doing it myself. So please feel free to leave some comments in there. Some of you have had some interesting ideas on videos they would like to see, and I've got a couple of them up my sleeve already. I've written them down, and I've got some ideas. I'll be uh, throwing some out there in the very, very dear future. So keep an eye open for those things. And again, as always, I want to thank you one more time for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Thank you very much.